going on YouTube this is Necro Stew and today we have a double battle this is uh, especially uh, effective I guess super effective in light of Pokemon worlds I wasn't able to watch those in lieu of having to work but it's still fun to read up on Pachirisu Wrecking Rich Shop now this battle is one I had against one of my Twitter followers I will leave their link in the description so shout out to Natia for a great battle I was using some random things I just wanted to have fun uh, Start off with a defensive Rotom fan form. I really like Rotom fan in VGC. It, it does a great job of checking several really big threats such as Talonflame and Mega Lucario, um, even to a lesser extent Garchomp because Rock Slide does not do that much to Rotom. Um, I kind of play a little predictable in the first turn there because I wanted to kind of feel my opponent out. And he makes a great switch into Garchomp as I fake out. And then I was not expecting Taunt from Gyarados going into my Rotom, so I'd, I'm unable to burn the Gyarados. Uh, but I really was trying to just Will-O-Wisp into um, uh, his Zapdos there, but it didn't work out, so not too big of a deal. Um, unfortunately, he does pick up the Flinch on the next turn, hitting my Rotom fan with a Flinch from the Rock Slide. That really sucks because if I had the extra damage there, I would have been able to 2-hit KO. The Garchomp from the point that it was at uh, with just a little bit of residual damage there but now that is also not going to matter too much because I won't really have the opportunity to KO okay, because I overestimate Tyranitar's bulk now this is Mobaya it's a fully specially offensive Tyranitar and I was just threw the Tyranitar right on it trying to test it out now since his Gyarados did have taunt I was thinking that it was a little bit faster and maybe not as offensive. I kind of overplay here as well, going for Protect as I Mega Evolve. Not the best move. Definitely should have just went straight for the Dark Pulse there. I knew it would have hit everything on his side of the field, at least neutrally. Uh, Rock Slide doesn't really do anything to either of those two Pokemon on my side of the field. But unfortunately, he does decide to double target my Tyranitar, which I was surprised to see him outspeed because Mabaya is max... Uh, special attack with a lot of speed. I don't think it's max speed, but it is a lot of speed. But fortunately, I am able to finish off Gyarados with a Thunderbolt. I'm not messing around with any more, uh, you know, will o -Wiz shenanigans or anything like that anymore. Now, Talonflame is banded. Uh, it's going to hit very, very hard, of course. But at the same point, he does still have Zapdos left, so it's going to be difficult to break through that. Now, his Mega Pokemon, of course, is Mega Charizard Y. And he does get rid of my Sandstorm, which is good for me since my um, Tyranitar is no longer around. I don't really need my Pokemon taking extra residual damage. Um, and we were... I figured he was going to protect with the Charizard Y and Mega Ball. And so I just went straight for Zapdos. Uh, but he actually doesn't. And he just attacks. And we find out a little bit later that my particular Talonflame can one-hit KO his Charizard. So I really should have gone straight for it. But I thought that was a little bit predictable. And although getting a, a close to a 2 hit KO on Zapdos resisting the branded Brave Bird is pretty nice as well. Um, he brings back out Garchomp. Here I decided to fake out the uh, Zapdos to keep it honest. I knew he probably would protect with it. But I didn't want him using Discharge or Thunderbolt or anything like that. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just didn't want to deal with it really. Now I take a lot of recoil damage between the recoil and the rough skin from Garchomp here, but that's okay, I barely live. Uh, he's going to protect once again with the Charizard Y, and this time I did try to Brave Bird the Charizard Y, and I think he was hoping that I would just KO myself on his Zapdos, but here I was, I, I really was just like, I need to get rid of Y if I even want any semblance of a chance to win this battle, even though I really can't win with Scrafty versus Zapdos. Uh, although Thunderbolt isn't doing very much damage, per se, uh, I don't have a way to touch Zapdos besides Crunch, and that's not going to do much from a defensive Scrafty. But I still enjoyed the match, showing off Rotom Fan, 
is quite fun. I wish I had played a little better with Tyranitar, uh, so that I could have showcased those special attacks a little bit better. But in any event, it was a fun battle, so that's what matters at the end there. So I hope you all enjoyed the battle, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.